Hello everyone, today we're working on 2005 Sterling. This thing has a Allison automatic transmission, a 4000 series. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the fluid and we're going to change the filters as well. And the filter kit that comes from Allison comes with two filters. And those go into the bottom of that transmission. We'll show you that when we get underneath. It also has all the torque values for the bolts in the uh, pamphlet that they send along. And it's got the O-rings, all the O-rings and the gaskets for it. So it's a complete kit, everything you need to do it. It's also got the O-ring for the drain plug as well. So the fluid we're going to be using today is the Amsoil Multi-Vehicle ATF. Meets and exceeds all the specifications for the Allison transmission. This runs about 20 to 50 degrees cooler than the petroleum-based oils out there and helps that transmission live a much longer, happier life. So a lot longer service life as well on the oil. So this is what we'll be putting in today, and uh, we'll get started with it. Okay, in this Allison transmission, it's got a drain plug right here. It's a 3 8 square head, so you can just use a 3 8 ratchet. Take that out. i got a couple buckets ready here. It should hold somewhere around 5 gallon. So we'll take that plug out, get that drained, and we'll head to the filters. Okay, we drained out about 5.5 gallon of fluid, and I've wiped off the metal that was on the magnet. There's a magnet right here in this drain plug. And we'll clean that up with some ether and spray it with some uh, a blow gun to get that clean and dry. But for right now, I want to stem the tide of this uh, fluid here while I'm working under there so I don't get all oily. So I'll pop that back in for now. And right here is where the filters are at. One here, one here. And those are a 15 millimeter socket. We'll fit on those. And you want to break those loose and make sure that uh, the road salt hasn't got them all froze up if you're living in the rust belt that is and uh, if you put an impact on there and start buzzing it they're stuck you can have some issues there twisting them off same when you go to tighten them you want to use a torque wrench to tighten them so we'll pop those all loose and then we will pull out those filters and show you how to change them Okay, once you have the bolts out, you can take a screwdriver along the edge of it and just work it loose and let it drain. All right, when you go to take these filters off, they just pull off of these aluminum housings. And both housings are identical, the filters are identical. So it's a matter of taking those off and we'll remove the old O-rings. There's a small one here, a bigger one down lower, and then there's a gasket here that needs to be taken off, scraped off as well. So what we'll do is we'll pop those off and we'll go ahead and clean up those aluminum housings and then get ready to, to uh, put back together with all new O-rings and, and the new filters. So we'll clean it up and then we'll, we'll show you putting it back together again. Okay, we're ready to put this filters back on. Uh, in the kit, there's uh, two sets of black O-rings. One's square cut and one's round. Uh, the square cutter for the older style than what we have. So we'll be throwing those away. These here will be the ones we use. And what I usually do is put a little bit of grease uh, on the O-rings, just enough to lube them up when you slip them on. And uh, same thing on the ones on the housing. Just a little bit of grease, it ain't going to be a whole lot, just enough to make them slippery. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put all this stuff together. We've got the new gaskets here that will go on uh, the plates. And then we're going to go ahead and show you putting those back up and, and uh, torquing them. Okay, we've put uh, the drain plug in. I put a new O-ring on that. That gets torqued to a maximum of 24 foot-pounds. Okay, so that's all installed and torqued down. And the bolts, uh, they originally had Loctite on them. So what we're going to do, move these pans here a little bit. We're going to put a little bit of uh, blue, which is a medium strength Loctite on those threads. Just a little bit, a little dab on each one. Just to help those bolts to stay in there nice. And uh, there's a torque spec as well on the sheet. Um, when you go to put these filters in, you don't want to draw it up with an impact or anything like that. You simply put them in, and you got the grease on some of the O-rings there, just enough to make them slippery. And you line up your bolts, you got the gasket on, all the O-rings in, and it, it kind of snaps into place. It kind of stays right there, and you can go ahead and put your bolts in. And you torque them, take them up by hand, and torque them down, and I got to see what this torque spec is. Six bolts in each cover go to a maximum of 45 foot-pounds, 38 to 45 foot-pounds. So we're going to go ahead and pop those in, torque those bolts, and we'll fill the tranny up, and uh, then we'll recheck it.
Okay, we refilled the transmission. This one has a horizontal, about a three foot long horizontal uh, on the tube, the fill tube. It's kind of a tough one to fill if you just got a funnel. What I used was a pumper and I had a hose on that, uh, on the meter, the hand meter. It went down in that tube about a foot and a half and that worked real well. Put in about 36 quarts and start it up and check it. And uh, that's about what this one here took, about 36 quarts. So just to give you some idea of where to start at. Uh, I want to thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. Please check out my other videos on my YouTube page. And I want to introduce you to Amsoil's full line of synthetic lubricants. Uh, we have the most complete line of synthetics for your automotive and light truck needs, uh, as well as heavy equipment and semis. Full line of synthetics been around since 1972. And you can check those out at www.donsoil.com. Also, we have a page for looking up fluid capacities. And that one is fluidcapacity.com. And you can go in there and you can get all your fluid capacities of your vehicle. You can print off a list so that you've got all the capacities of your cooling system, your transmission, your engine, all those. And have a great day.